ericmother.com. Let's take a look at the Nifty here. I want to show you some visual challenges. This is the two-year weekly. And what we see here is I'll show you some visual challenges that are showing up on the chart here. And let's begin with the first obvious line, which is the back test line here. You can see that this line is pretty much the break line of the highs. And we've come back to test this line. We seem to have been rejected twice. So that becomes one visual challenge. There's another way to look at the same area, which is to figure out where we broke down. The breakdown corresponds with this movement lower. Take that information and again we can see that this has become a resistance area now this is also similar to the bank nifty so we see until we can be able to move above the line here we are looking at a market that is suggesting pullback possibility now keep in mind also the fact that the resistance here happens to be at about the 60, 61.8 RSI level, which is something to consider. Now let's take a look at the MACDs. I'll show you two lines that are intersecting right now. First line is this back test line. And then the second line is the previous breakout line. I draw it something like that. In fact, let me draw this uh, with a different look so we are able to see price action. All right, let's do that again. So we got top side, resistance line, and then we have the previous support line. Now we see that both lines are intersecting at the moment and looks to be suggesting that around here, this is resistance. Now keep in mind, when we moved above the line here, this was uniform activity above the line back below it. Generally speaking, whenever you see uniform activity above a line and back below it, it tends to be a trap. And clearly we can see that that was a well-drafted market trap. So anyway, so what I'm pointing at here is even the MACDs are suggesting a visual challenge. We can reasonably expect a pullback, maybe even a short-term major high or major highs, unless we can eventually move above these two lines. Failure to move above the two lines does suggest that ultimately this market is due for a pullback, if not the beginning of a major bear market now combine that with the daily and we can see the one year daily chart showing top side resistance as of right now also this happens to be negative divergence because we went higher but prices were making lower highs so that looks to be negative divergence also there is a line that can be drawn based on my uniformity method which is this break of the highs there and the market has come back to test that break point and again we've hit that level twice so until this market can clear the daily resistance lines, until we can clear the daily resistance lines, because we already see resistance, this is suggesting that there is a pullback that is in store for the market. And one other quick observation, this is the hourly, and I would expect the market to be sideways, short term, until we break this line here. This is the line that the market is trying to defend, on the hourly as long as the market can bounce on this line then things could stabilize otherwise if the hourly 
was to break below this line, then definitely that will be confirming the weekly and the daily charts which are suggesting the possibility of the beginning of a big pullback. Lots of red flags, but ultimately before we drop, this would have to break. Eric Mwadeth, 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 M